Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If we're doing this view, you know what's going on. We have an unboxing to do. So let's do this here. I uh, bought this from G-Shock. I really need a new knife. I bought this from G-Shock. It's their transparent line that they just released. Um, I actually accidentally bought one that I wasn't supposed to buy. So I don't know which one it is. But we shall see. We got some packing. We have some information there. So the first one up is the GA2100. This is the one I meant to buy. And then we have the 5600. This is the accidental one. So I'm going to be returning this one. Um, I guess I could just open it up real quick while we have it here. Try not to mess up the packaging at all. It does look really nice, the box at least. Yeah, I'm not sure if this is the, uh, I think this is the wrong one, yeah. Let's see. All that warranty information. Yeah, this is the incorrect one that I bought. Even though this does look pretty cool now that I have it in the flesh. Mirror finish, that actually looks really nice. But this is not the one that I wanted. So let's just put that one off to the side for right now and I shall return that one eventually. This is the one that I wanted. The 2100 SKE. This is the fully transparent one with the clear plastic, not that uh, off gray that we saw just before. Got the manual. Here we go. So I guess that's just how to take out the watch. I don't know. By the way, I'm wearing my Ingersoll Scoville on the Tropic strap. Looks pretty nice. I like it. All right, here we go. G-Shock unboxing the one I actually meant to buy. So got the warranty cards. There's the model number and everything. I was lucky enough to buy this uh, before they all sold out, but here we go. <laughs> that looks fresh. I've been wanting to get a Cassie Oak for the longest time, and now I finally have one. This rubber actually feels really nice too. I'm quite surprised. Ooh, that is nice. All these modes. I guess the, the negative display at the bottom is kind of hard to see, but that's fine. I'm trying to see how to even work this watch. I'm not 100% sure. I've never really messed with this one. All I know is that, that, that there's a light right there. Um, as far as adjusting the time and everything I have to get into, I'm not going to do it on camera here, but take a look at that watch. That looks amazing. That looks really nice. Stainless steel case back. Wow. All right, let me go ahead and pop this on the wrist real quick. Take off the Ingersoll here on the Tropic strap. I love this Tropic strap. I actually bought an extra Tropic strap for an upcoming watch I have in the mail. You guys will see that later. But uh, here we go. I don't know if, how much I'm going to actually wear this. but I just wanted the cast. Check that out. That is going to look very nice in certain situations. I actually was, I wanted to buy it just for the Cassie Oak and then I was gonna get a, a, like a mod kit and either make it a metal band uh, or a metal G or um, just get an extra resin strap because the all blacked out version is completely gone. But man, that looks nice. I like that a lot. All right, so that's the video. Actually, let me go ahead and put the other one on the on the wrist while we're here, the 5600. Since we're here, since it's right here, I might as well toss this one on the wrist as well. 
I, you know, I'm contemplating on keeping this one too. I wasn't supposed to, but now I'm contemplating it. All right, that doesn't look too bad either. I already have a square G, but this one with the mirror finish, I don't know, maybe I'll keep it. That looks nice too. Man, I don't know, I don't know what to do. Let me know in the comment section below if I should keep both of them or, or return this one, because this is the one I was planning on returning anyways. But uh, all right, yeah, that's the video. So go ahead and leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And uh, thanks for watching. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and pop up a couple of videos of some other unboxes that I've done. So, all right, let me know in the comment section below which one you like the best. Uh, all right, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Later.